Hello everybody, my name is Dratnus and welcome to my guide to the infested affix. So what is infested? Well, infested is actually a fairly complicated affix. The way it works is that in each dungeon, there's a set of enemies that are marked as infested enemies and they look different, they're purpley, they have this ball above their head, and they look all yucky. And that pattern is actually on a set three week rotation. So there's three different possible patterns and it changes between the three every single week. So enemies that aren't infested but are near an infested enemy get a buff called Regenerative Blood that heals them for 10% of their max HP every three seconds. And the important thing here is that since it keys off max HP, if you're fighting enemies that have a low health pool, uh, you can sometimes just tank them while they still have Regenerative Blood and still kill them through it. And then once you kill an infested enemy, two spawns of Cocoon will appear and they will run towards non-infested enemies and try and infest them. And if they become infested, you're going to have to deal with all of the annoying things that come with that, plus an added caveat where enemies that were infested by spawn of Cahoons, rather than naturally as part of the infest pattern for the week, uh, those ones actually sometimes heal other infested enemies with regenerative blood, which is very, very obnoxious, and so you need to avoid that at all costs. Okay, so let's talk about your main tools to defeat the infested affix. The big one is crowd control, but there are a bunch of different ways that you can actually use crowd control against this affix. The most obvious one that you're going to see executed most often in pugs uh, is pretty simple. You crowd control the infested, you kill all the other mobs, and then you go kill the infested. Uh, one advanced tip to this is that sometimes you can keep the infested mob crowd controlled and wait until you've done this for a bunch of different packs, and then you can pull all the infested mobs from all those packs simultaneously, and that's a little bit more efficient with your damage. Now there's another way to use crowd control against infested, and that is to actually crowd control the non-infested mobs, and then once you're done with the infested mobs in the area, you can then break the crowd control on your non-infested mobs and pull some more stuff with them, and that's even more efficient. Uh, one great example of where you can use this, this is a pull that happens in the Underaunt near the second boss room, uh, and what I actually like to do here is I like to crowd control those two non-infested rots, the little oozes over on the left, and then pull both of the infested enemies, so the infested Lasher, which you can get by itself, and the infested ooze, kill those two off, and then once you're done with those, once you're done with those Kahunis, you can then break the CC on those two oozes, and pull some more stuff with them, and that's a very efficient way to handle this part of the dungeon. Now, no matter how well you handle Infested, it still slows down your run. So your best routes for any given week are going to be the ones that pull as few Infested as possible. Uh, so that's another strategy for dealing with Infested. Just skip packs that have Infested in them, and instead pull extra stuff that doesn't have Infested in them. Uh, for instance, in Freehold, there's two different possible packs that can spawn the first boss, and on any given week, one of them will contain an Infested enemy and the other will not we always pull the one that doesn't have an infested enemy, and we skip the one that does have an infested enemy. Now, one of the ways to lose the least amount of time in a dungeon to infested is to not bother with crowd control at all. Just run in there, focus your damage on the infested. Once the infested dies, two spawns of Gahoon will spawn. You focus really hard on killing those because they're, of course, right next to enemies that they want to infest. Uh, and then if you successfully do that, you're not going to waste any time trying to facilitate crowd control. You're not going to waste any time while enemies run to you because, of course, you're trying to pull them away from the enemies that are crowd controlled. Uh, the icon I have here is a subtlety rogue. Subtlety rogues are actually really good at this particular job, even since the nerfs. Uh, but all classes are capable of doing it. You just focus all your damage into the infested, then you focus all your damage into the kahunis, uh, and then you kill all the other stuff, and that's fast. One of the things about infested as an affix is that when there are other affixes active that make this strategy less viable, those weeks are going to be a lot slower. So these are affixes like Bolstering and Necrotic, where you are actually not really able to run in and execute this plan. That's part of the reason why those weeks are so much slower in Battle for Azeroth Season 1 uh, than the other weeks on the schedule. And then the final tactic that we use sometimes against Infested, which is pretty cool, is we actually just cleave it down at the same time as the rest of the pack. And this is something you can look for when the Infested enemy is a ranged mob. Um, so like a Marksman in Temple or this pull that I'm going to show you here, uh, there's a Powder Shot in Siege of Boralus, you can just fight these at the same time, and if you use a displacement effect like a grip or a knock or something to put it out of the regenerative blood range of the other things, it's a ranged unit, right? It's going to be shooting you, it's going to be casting spells at you. You can just leave it out there, and you can DPS everything evenly, even though one of them is infested. So that's another tip you can use uh, to really save time when the pulls line up that way with ranged infested mobs. Thanks for watching my guide to the infested affix. I hope you've enjoyed this and found this useful. If you have, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, I appreciate that greatly. You might also enjoy some of the other content on my channel. I've got guides to other affixes. I have fully commentated dungeon runs from my group, high keys that we've done uh, with my commentary over the top, so guides to those dungeons. Uh, and I have guides to the rogue class that I'm working on. So you might enjoy those, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.